DJ Nick, DJ Nick. You like the video within five seconds, or you're gonna airball a wide open shot with your takeover. I would not risk it. So, are you tired of dribbling like this? But you wanna dribble more like this? Or like this? Or how about this? Well, actually, you can't completely do that move considering that behind the back is patched, but. You get the idea. I'm about to show you the best signature styles after patch 11. So make sure you get this video to 50 likes. And you see we're on the road to 5k. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on post on notifications. Because I'm going to give you the moves to put on. But there are specific moves I bet you don't know how to do. That I can show you how to do. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on post bell notifications. Not to mention, I got a tutorial that's up already of a glitchy behind the back. I'm going to show you the six that you need to do the move, and then you can click the video after this to learn how to do that move. But without further ado, let's get into the six. For dribble style, I use quick. This is all up to preference, but quick is what I like to use. It makes you dribble a little bit faster than normal, so quick is the one for me. Chris Paul, Kemba Walker, Kyrie Irving, these are all really good. Kemba, you don't see so many people using it, but I feel it's a very underrated one. A lot of the ISO gods, a lot of the dribble gods, they like to use Kyrie. You can try out Kyrie. Chris Paul, I just tried it. I don't know. I didn't really like it that much, but maybe you will. Size of packages, I use Kyrie Irving. This is the size up that gives you the really quick momentum, like previous 2Ks. Seth Curry, Kobe Bryant, Pro 2, Pro 3, those are all really good to speed boost out of, but you don't need these size up packages to speed boost. In fact, after this video, in fact it might already be out depending on when you're watching it, but my next video is going to be how to speed boost. Obviously a lot of you guys know how to speed boost, but I actually do get questions on how to speed boost. So for those people that don't know, I'm going to release it for them. If you're one of those people, make sure you check it out on the end screen if it's out. If it's not, make sure you subscribe and turn on post on notifications for when it does come out. So yeah, Kyrie Irving, that's what I like. Moving crossovers, I use normal one. I do do the spin back to the three point line. And normal one is the best for that. Basically all these normal crossovers right here are good for helping you spin to the three point line. Now, if you don't care about spinning back to the three point, you just want a fast crosser, you want to do a fast double cross, you want to just go up the court. Let's say you play 3v3 and you're a rim runner and you just want to do a fast crossover to get up the court. Pro 6 is the best one. Pro 2 is pretty good too, but Pro 6 is the best for rim running. Pro 6 is, you, you see, it's really fast. You almost can't even see your player's hands when he's crossing over on the regular see like that yeah but number one that's why i like side to do the spin that's a three point line i mean it's a good move to get space and it's just effective and i don't need these fast crossovers to rim run moving behind the back this is preference as well pro five i don't even remember why i bought pro six but i guess i didn't like so i don't really remember it but pro five is what i use now Pro 3, once again, if you're a rim runner on the 3s or something, this is probably the best one. You can literally just spam this up the court. Like, if you play 2K15, do you remember behind the back 14? That's basically what this one is. So, yeah. Pro 5, though, you get that same blow by. You see he goes like a little wider on the court so you can get a little more space. Also, you get this spin back to the 3 point line. Not a spin, but a behind the back to the 3 point line. And most people don't expect it. It's not that many people do it. I don't know why. Like, you can act like you're driving and do the behind the back and go to the three-point line. And you're going to be wide open just about every time because they usually don't expect it. If you want a tutorial on that move, I'm actually thinking of a basic ISO guide video. Let me know if I should do that. This will be one of the moves that I break down. It's really not hard. It's actually really simple. You probably know how to do it. In fact, if you put this on and you just try to do it, I guarantee you you'll do it. But 
Pro 5, that's what I like. Moving spin. Now this depends on how advanced you are. Pro 4 is what I use because like I said, I spin back to the 3.0. Basic 1, you can do that too. In fact, it's better, but it's a little bit harder to time. I'm way too inconsistent on basic 1. I keep messing up the spin, trying to spin back to the 3.0. But when you do get it, it's a thing of beauty. But maybe I should just keep trying it. But if you're not as advanced, Pro 4, it's a lot easier. But if you're more advanced, basic 1 for sure. Moving hesitations. Now I have a tutorial on a basic yet effective move. It's called the reverse behind the back, AKA the whoop the wop That's what Stizo calls it. It's a very basic yet effective move. It looks advanced, it's really not. It's a glitchy looking move, but it's easy as hell to do. It's gonna be on the end screen of this video. Make sure you check it out after this. But in order to do that, you need either a Pro 1 or Pro 3 equipped. You can do it with the other ones, it's just going to be rude, so it's going to give you a really slow hesitation. So, if you want to be able to do that move, have Pro 1 or Pro 3 equipped, that's why I have those equipped. Now, if you don't care about doing glitchy moves, you want the best hesitation to shoot out of or something, the best hesitation to shoot out of, in my opinion, is Pro 8, by far. Pro 8 is so easy to shoot out of, but in order to do certain moves I want to do, I use either Pro 1 or Pro 3, most of the time I have Pro 1 on once again, that's what I like. Triple threat style, you can just have on whatever. I do go into triple threat. I'm not gonna lie, it's very effective, but I don't go through all the styles, tell me what's the best. Apparently, a lot of people have it on normal eight. You see, I have it on normal five, and for those that watch my videos, I do go into triple threat quite a bit, and it does work for me. So, try out normal five if you want. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like hit that subscribe button, turn on post bell notifications, make sure you check out my other dribble tutorials. I got a reverse behind the back tutorial. It was in this video. You know you think it was nice and you want to know how to do it. So make sure you click that. And if my speed boosting video is out, make sure you click that. It will be on the end screen as well. If not, turn on post bell notifications like I said and you'll be the first one to see it. And I'm gonna have more tutorials after that even. Let me know what other tutorials you want me to do. But that's all for me. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.